Greetings, YouTube. Happy Saturday. You know, we're always trying to figure out what the retail price in Kabam's mind for certain items is going for. And even though I don't like the name and I really, really don't like the the way that they're they're kind of shadily marketing the shape of this crystal, we do have another mythic opportunity. Now, for, uh, I don't know, maybe two to three years, ever since early 2019, maybe late 2018, we've had the chance as uncollected and eventually Cavalier and obviously Thronebreaker now, but that's much more recent, to purchase a five-star crystal, even a five-star featured, for $50. Now, I need to do a video, and shout out to the summoner who I uh, will give a more specific shout out to when I do the video, on how Canada's prices have suddenly gone up. I've been hearing from my Canadian viewers that certain places are for the first time being taxed, and that's really adding up. I and mean, we're talking about in Canada because... It's so much more expensive. It's like Australia versus the United States dollar that uh, suddenly for an Odin, you're paying like 20 bucks more, which really adds up and is, is so unfortunate. But uh, needless to say, it's a, it's a lot of money even without tax, right? 50 bucks. And yet this is now what Kabam is trying to promote. And you'll notice, and this is what I hate about this thing the most, it looks like a six star in the picture. If you compare... The shape of the mythic mint condition crystal to the legendary crystal there's no way if you've been playing this game at all that you would ever confuse a legendary crystal with the five star crystal right but essentially that's what this mythic mint condition crystal is now there are gonna be people who of course say but prof they should read the five print they should just know it's not a six star i agree but you don't have to shape it like a six star crystal we also have seen enough nexus crystals to where People could even think this was a six-star nexus, and then they're double wrong. It's not a nexus, and it's not a six-star. That's not to say you couldn't land on a six-star, but eight out of ten times, you're going to land on a five-star. And so, for what feels like a 2021 product, you're still paying a 2018 price. And that's the tricky thing about this offer. Now, the other argument is, Prof, it's all about guaranteed value, and even though there are a lot of gambled champions in these crystals... You at least are guaranteed a five star where you could spend 50 bucks on an early access bundle with five featured calves and get nothing but three stars and four stars, which is what happens to me probably three or four times a year minimum. So again, I get that. And speaking of early access bundles, it has the same two bonus items with the purchase, a thousand six star shards and three greater champion boosts. And I love both those things. Uh, really, I think the price of this, like an A price would be $30. And like a C plus prize would be forty dollars, but fifty dollars is like is still a C minus grade. Uh, let's talk about the champions in this crystal though, because that is part of this. Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Human Torch lead off this, along with Red Mags. And Kabam has done a good job in this banner of showing off three of the best champions in the pool. It always amazes me if those champions are in it, and yet the banner shows somebody like OG Iron Man, uh, Namor, Thing. Captain Marvel, which since it doesn't say classic, we can assume that is indeed the movie version. Kingpin, Venom, Mr. Fantastic Gambit, Immortal Hulk, Mephisto, OG Black Widow, Doctor Strange, Squirrel Girl, Silver Surfer, Howard the Suck No More, Hawkeye, Vision Arcus, Green Goblin, Red Skull, Cable, Daredevil Classic, Iron Man, Captain America, Infinity War, and Spider-Man Classic. Honestly, for Thronebreakers... I think this is what the price should be like for six stars in general. I think 50 bucks is a fair price, though not an amazing price. For six stars, if you are to compare this to, say, the August login calendar, where you get, by the time it's done, two and a half six stars, plus those Cavalier uh, Nexus crystals that we got a double batch of, considering the drop rates were wrong, plus six star six stone crystals it's just it's a joke it's like going from costco prices to what you'd pay for one beer or one beverage at a sporting event that's not to say that someone won't get lucky i'm sure somebody will pull a six star black widow clairvoyant from this or red mags or thing etc but in general i am not for setting the price point of this item for Kabam's profits at $50. It's just too high. Let's see if it's just Cavalier. Oh, by the way, we have a, a free gift. 
Woo, a profile pic. Now I can buy everything. Just kidding. Uh, let's see if uh, this is who this is for. Okay, so Cavalier members indeed. Figured that'd be the cutoff. They are the new uncollected, unfortunately. And then all summoners get the Grandmaster, the Lucky S. Which, by the way, this thing is always an F grade. Even if you're somebody who is starting out, like 30 bucks is six days worth of the daily specials and also uh, six months worth of the unit card. So you just got to consider that, especially if you are a casual spender to the Marvel Casino of Champions. So my advice would be, if we really want this to go down in price, supply has to far exceed demand. This would be a fair to average $40 bundle and a good $30 bundle, but for 50 bucks, especially all you viewers who have to pay even more than $50, and now that there's tax in places like Canada, it's, it's just astronomical. You just, you're going to, you're going to take a gamble and quite a few people are going to get a five star OG Iron Man for 50, 50 bucks and want to quit the game and uh, cancel their credit card purchases. So just, just uh, resist YouTube, just resist. You'll be thankful you did. And uh, this concludes this Saturday offer deal. I am about to uh, record in the next couple hours after this post the What If Nexus Crystal uh, Best of the Best replacements for the compensation. And we saw a lot of craziness. Though, we also heard um, kind of predictably that some people did better with the old drop rates than the new drop rates, which is always fascinating data. Have a great rest of your weekend and definitely Saturday. Thanks for watching.